Hi there. How are you doing? How are you coping with the pandemic? How are you coping with lockdown in your country? Is your country relaxing restrictions yet or about to? I know in the UK that I think we've been in lockdown for maybe five weeks now. It will be going into our sixth week next week. We are still able to exercise outdoors once a day and collect daily thing, you know, like shopping and medicines if we need to. I think the hardest part of the lockdown is the uncertainty, is the unknown, is uh, is wondering what's going to happen in the world because it won't be as simple as we go back to normal. Even as restrictions are lifted, there are a lot of people who are scared to go back into the world. There are people who have health conditions who are in high risk categories. And there are people who have looked at, looked at mainstream media, which has been really horrible in the UK. I'd say 99.9% of our media is against our government's way of doing things. And I'm actually quite happy with how they've done things. I, uh, I appreciate what they've done. It's a very unknown virus. It's a very difficult situation and not every country is the same. The population density in different countries is so different. And at the moment we're being sort of labeled one of the highest cases and death rate in Europe, which from being in the UK, I can see that it's totally misinterpreted by the media and it's just not true and we don't have the insider story either we don't have what's happening we haven't got the facts at our hands so all we can do is just trust that they are doing their best and i imagine whoever you are in the world you may be thinking that your government's not doing too well or your government's doing really well and it's it's all a matter of perspective but as a normal human being as a normal citizen of a country how is how are things going to work out? I keep thinking, when will I get to see my mum again? When will I get to hug my friends? When will I get to go for a coffee in a cafe? When will I get to go out from the area and visit different places? When will I get to go travelling? These things may not happen for quite a long time. And a lot of people don't want to actually leave lockdown. They don't want to send their children to school. There's so much uncertainty. It's all up in the air. And I understand the economy side of things because that also has an effect on mental health and our well-being as a whole. Because if we don't have anything to go back to, that's a big deal. And there's a lot of people going to go bankrupt. There's a lot of redundancies, a lot of people losing their jobs. It's pretty serious right now, but it's also, I think we've got to have room and space in our heart and mind to, oh, excuse me, <laughs> my stomach's rumbling. We've got to uh, think, think about what's actually working in the world. We've got to look at our lives and see what small things are still working. What, are we, what do we have? What can we appreciate? Because if we just focus on what's to come or what may not come, we can drive ourselves insane. We can become really stressed and depressed. I'm sort of having a, a, a kind of a feeling of curiosity. I'm not particularly scared. I'm uncertain and I'm curious. I'm curious to see how the world's going to change because I do feel this virus in a way has come to create changes that maybe were never going to happen otherwise. And as hard as it is that people are dying, I don't think that we can say anything about that except it's really sad. But I also feel that personally, life is full of life and death. And I don't feel like we leave this planet unless it's time to leave this planet. As much as our ego and our personalities think otherwise. Even if we're young, 
we're old, we're healthy, or we're sick. It's just part of life. And it's only when we kind of judge it as bad or wrong or the wrong time in the wrong way that we can tear, tie, our, tie ourselves up in knots and we can get very stressed about that. And it's, it's not good focusing on the number of death rates happening in our countries, comparing worldwide. It's no good saying that if X, Y, Z had been done differently, then this would have happened. Because we have no way of knowing that. It's just a guesswork. When we're in, un, in an unknown or uncertain situation, we can only do our best. We can only take action. We can only adapt and change. We can only learn from our mistakes. We can't really do much in the middle of it. We just have to ride it out. And so many things could happen from this virus, from the lockdown, from businesses going under. I wondered the other day what would happen if just all the shops were opened, but no cafes and no restaurants were open. What would life be like if that's all there was? Things would have to change on a dramatic level. And how are we going to be with people we haven't seen for a while? None of us know whether we've got the virus because it can be asymptomatic. And they still don't know how long this the infection phase lasts. In our country, they say maybe 14 days. But from tests done on people that I know that they have been retested 14 days later and still been positive without symptoms. So I think we can only do our best, take care of ourselves, wear a mask if we feel called to, to keep a sense of feeling of safety when we go out to the supermarket and when we have to visit people. But we can't lose hope. We can't, we can't think that this is the the end of the world because it's not it's the beginning it's the beginning of something we don't know what that something is yet perhaps all of these horrible changes that are happening that seem to be horrible we perceive as horrible or all part of the divine plan of this planet we don't know what an individual's journey is we don't know what a, a business man or woman's journey is some people are flourishing during this pandemic. Some people's businesses are doing really well. Some are not. Some people are thriving in a more simpler, calmer, quiet life. Other people are stressed, depressed, anxious, have mental health issues that they maybe never had before. And it's so varied around the world. There are people in poorer countries who can't even get medical attention at all. So I consider where I live in the UK very blessed. I don't want to knock what's happening. Not because there's not mistakes. Everyone's making mistakes. They're learning as they go. But because I feel quite blessed and appreciative that we have a medical system in the UK that's free that's accessible and that we're getting so much support from the government. And as our government said, not everybody is going to get a positive experience out of this. Not everyone's going to get what they need. There are going to be people who are going to be in challenge and struggle. I hope that you're not one of these, but if you are I'm really sorry that you are, all we can do is just live in the moment plan and prepare as best we can, but the situation could change at any time again. So just go easy on yourself. If you're feeling scared, go easy on yourself. If you're feeling okay, because you may feel guilty for feeling good or guilty for feeling peaceful. Everything's okay in this situation, whatever you're feeling. So just give yourself a break and no, this will pass. It may not pass for a long time. It may not be an easy passing. It may make the world completely different to how we've known it. 
but see if you can have a, a sense of curiosity rather than horror or fear or blame. Just see if you can just rest in the awareness of I'm here, I'm alive. I may not have everything, have everything I want. I may not be to see the people I want to see, but I'm alive, I'm here, and that's okay. That's a good thing. I don't know what's coming. I don't know if I'm going to manage financially. I don't know if my mental health is going to be okay. I don't know if I'm going to catch this virus. And that's okay. It's okay. Whatever happens will happen. And the more we're able to just accept this and acknowledge it, the easier it will become to just ride this challenging, tumultuous time. And I'm sending you all my love. Whatever you're feeling, whatever you're experiencing, however hard it is, however easy it is, just be good to yourself as best as you can. And I'll speak to you next week. Bye for now.